trucker is down the last video that you guys saw where I uh, was doing some uh, experiment on the uh, air intakes everything went fine except for when I was driving and all of a sudden I started to see a blue smoke so I don't know what happened from there I already logged in about 60 or something miles on snow white and I never seen a blue smoke and all of a sudden ba boom <laughs> I thought I got it all dialed in yeah I was just getting ready uh, you know planning and all that as far as like the dino session but <laughs> something showed up anyway what I have done I did a compression check and the three cylinders two three and four come out to about 180 somewhere around there and this one it pegs to about 210 so and and I also bore scope it and that bad boy it was swimming in a pool of oil I already know it's coming from the number one cylinder because I pulled the spark plugs and that's the only one that is not looking good right there compared to the three. Okay, my compressor you only allow me to go that much. I could not go up anymore, more than a hundred. But anyway, I hear some through here and I hear some on the intake valves okay so it uh, looks like I'm 20% right there so that's 85 psi and I'm right on uh, low 20% low so I think I'm okay for the piston ring see now it's pegging towards the uh, past uh, 20 or minimum I did the valve stems removal and replacement on this one yeah I th and, uh, and after that I took it for a ride I thought I got it down but sure enough it's just it's still there Move on there. I want to. I don't want this thing to uh, to get there up. I'll stop when I uh, hear that solid sound right there. That's it. tap there so right now I'm about getting ready to uh, pull the cylinder head and we will see it soon let me get set up here
normal, 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 and right there. Yeah, it's kind of shiny. Yeah. Well, you can see the piston for the three and four. It's got all this uh, carbon buildup, and except for the number one. Yeah, I don't see any uh, scratches on the walls. I will find out as soon as I pull that uh, that piston out. I already got the bottom end uh, removed as far as like the old pen and all that. But I'm going to jack it up and we'll pull it. Okay, here it is. Okay, number the compression, this on the gap right there, and seconds right there, and for the uh, scraper, there's one right here. Uh, let me see if I can get a light. One gap is right there, second is right there, or oh, right, would it be possible that the gap right there, you see that? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of odd for scraping, it could be possible, where's the other one? Let's see if we can find the other. Okay, the other one is right here. Right there. Okay. You think that could be possible that the uh, oil is passing through there? Oh well. Huh? Because uh, this ring should be about here or on the other side. So it rotated on me. So maybe the gap has something to do with it. Hmm. See that oil right there? That bottle of oil. Yeah, I changed the uh, stem seals on this one. But now... Okay, I'm gonna put a new uh, seal rings on this. Got a new ceilings. There. Okay. All right. So here, here, and one is there. The other one is right there. And before I clamp this. I will verify that the gaps are away from one another. Right there 
And right there. Hmm. So it did walk away from me when I put it on the first time. Man. Okay. I'm gonna squeeze this and I'm going to recheck. Yeah. Let's recheck. Okay. I have to verify that everything is all seated correctly. Because I can't <laughs> I can't afford to uh, to tear this thing apart again. back in I'm going to button up the bottom and I have to wait for my uh, head gasket and of course the ending of this video would be <laughs> road test I'll see you guys back bye everyone